McMahon along with Tommy Newsom and the NBC Orchestra inviting you to join Johnny and his guests, Gary Shagley, Stephanie Grappelli, and from Omni Magazine, games editor Scott Morris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, stand here and get away with it before you start throwing things. How are you tonight? You sound in a good mood. Yeah. I'm Johnny Carson. Anybody else want it? I thought Doc was off just for one night. No, uh, three nights running, he's off. <laughs> I mean three consecutive nights. Consecutive nights. Oh, in, in a row. <laughs> So that means that he'll be off one more night tomorrow. That's correct. <laughs> Doc, I guess is back in, in Washington, D.C., you mentioned last night. Yes. Doing a concert for the, uh, as you call it, the crown heads of... The U.S. The U.S. <laughs> I looked that up today. I couldn't find any crown heads of the United States. Uh, Tommy, of course, is a unique personality, but he has tough luck. Uh, he was in his bathtub the other day. Got caught in a riptide, ended up in Catalina. <laughs> now, this is, i got to be honest with you, this is not the to a job that Tommy dreamed of as a kid. You know, most kids, they want to grow up, be a policeman, uh, or a major league, uh, yeah, a fireman, a major league baseball star. Tommy wanted to be a night watchman. <laughs> <laughs> this may be it, folks. Did you see who's back on television last night? Robert Young returned as Dr. Marcus Welby. Yeah. Now, you see, he's been off for, what, about eight or nine years, and to, he tried to update the show to get the younger viewers. The way they did that, during a physical examination last night, Welby put on a sequin glove. Well, because he's a doctor, he makes house calls, he cares about his patients, he, he never overcharges, and that's why people like it. They love a fantasy. <laughs> well, tonight on television, I don't want to miss this. This is one of my favorite shows of the year, the Miss USA contest. I would not, that's close to the Miss America contest. And Bob Barker, who does his usual fine job, my favorite part is the talent competition. <laughs> now, tonight, Miss Arkansas has got a surefire act. She swaddles an orphan. In an American flag while singing My Country Tis of Thee. I mean, that's... The big production number tonight has all the girls in the pageant dressed as something that represents, best represents their state. Miss California comes out in a floor length taco shell. With her, with her. with her hair teased like bean sprouts. <laughs> Don't you, do you remember the narrator as the girls come out? Yeah. They give you some background. That is fun. The guy will say, after graduating from dental, co dental college, Becky Lou wants to be a network anchor person. That's what they say sometimes. <laughs> three jokes on the same subject. <laughs> Maybe two tonight. <laughs> well, in Washington, there was an important vote yesterday about the MX missile. President Reagan wanted 40 MX missiles. The congressman failed to go along with him, and they, they had a compromise, and he accepted 15, because the congressmen know right now there is no real threat from the Russians, because they're spending all their time packing and unpacking. <laughs> Did you 
you see the interesting picture in the Los Angeles Times today of Linda Evans? Yeah, she was standing in St. Peter's Square, shaking hands with a pope. This, this is kind of strange. Crystal Carrington of Dynasty. <laughs> in St. Peter's Square. Pope looked a little puzzled. He was heard to say, you want me to excommunicate who? <laughs> Actually, uh, Crystal was diverting the Pope's attention while Blake was drilling under St. Peter's. Most of the <laughs> well, it's an exciting weekend, or maybe not so exciting in Los Angeles. Uh, Jackson, Mondale, and Hart are campaigning in our fair city. Mondale um, is from Minnesota, and he went down to the Jewish neighborhood, which is Fairfax Avenue here in Los Angeles, and went into the McDonald's on Fairfax. Have you seen the sign over the McDonald's on Fairfax? It says over eight billion served. But I, am I making a profit? <laughs> With my brother-in-law doing the books? That's all up there on the sign. How many smokers in the audience? Be honest. How many of you smoke? <laughs> Did you read today the Surgeon General of the United States has put a new tougher warning on cigarette packages? They are getting very, very tough. I smoke. I bought a pack today. You know what the warning said? Go ahead, Turkey. Make my day. <laughs> That's enough to make you quit. I picked up another pack today. Cool. <laughs> it said, nice move, genius. Why don't you just suck a bust exhaust pipe while you're at it? You know, I get to wondering if the cigarette companies are going to have to make the cigarette packages larger just to have room for the death warnings. <laughs> You're right, that was three. <laughs> just wanted to prove a point. Okay. <laughs> Tonight we have a very funny young man, Mr. Gary Shandling, is with us this evening. <laughs> Great jazz violinist Stefan Grappelli is with us. Gentleman who was the games and puzzle editor of Omni Magazine. He was with us a few weeks ago, and he's got some strange mind benders and, and puzzles and, and stuff like that there. He is here, Scott Morris. Is his name? And he will be with us. <laughs> 